Peace, peace, y'all. How are you today? September 2nd, 24. <coughs> Just uh, heading back into the bush with my whacker. I've been stacking lots of firewood. And, uh, and got to make a little goat trail here for my uh, cart garden. I got uh, everything on the go, lots of eating. Probably still have another month or so before frost sets in. My first garden, so it's not as good as I thought it was going to be, but still, it's pretty decent. So here, I got to beat a trail through here to get my cart. I'll have to buck that up. See lots of moose activity, bear activity. Another tree I got to buck up for the cart. So this was a freestanding dead tree over here. <clears throat> I uh, felled it in early spring before uh, influenza and tomfoolery came to uh, hatch another fledgling. So I'm back in here now without disturbing the bald eagles to buck it up. And now I just got to cart it out. Probably a 90, 100 foot tree in here. I'll probably go this way. Less logs to go over. Nope. Anyways. Living the life. Becoming self-reliant, self-sufficient, self-empowered. Taking responsibility for my own life. Unlike all the sheeple truthers out there. So nine of my uh, 13 trees just in my little bit of backyard here, are all dead, freestanding dead. And we've only, I've only seen chemtrail planes maybe uh, three or four times the whole summer. But we know the aluminum goes into the root system of all trees. And within uh, five freaking minutes, it starts killing the root balls. This is why so many trees are blowing over everywhere with all the weather warfare going on. There's no root balls left. So a few of these freestanding dead, I'm gonna stay because the eagles use them and I know which ones they are and I'll cut down all the others. <clears throat> Anyways, have a wonderfully proactive week, y'all. Head on a swivel always. Stay prayed up and prepped up. Take care, y'all.